Okay, so I am going to show you guys how to make a clipping mask. There's already a clipping mask on my screen. This is something that I made previously. So I wanna show you how you can tell there's a clipping mask on something before we get started. So if I hover over this with my selection tool, you can see that there's this blue line that it's indicated in the pasteboard. That shows me that there's more on the screen that I don't currently see. Also, if I look in the layers panel, I can see that there is a clip. It says clip right here. So there's more layers that have been compressed into this clip. I'm going to use the selection tool and select everything on the screen, go up to object, clipping mask, and then release. So you can see that released all of my layers, my sub layers into this line. And now I can see more on the screen as well. So this is the full version of my artwork before I use the clipping mask. This is similar to Photoshop, how you can create a layer mask. You create a boundary for what you want to see and what you don't want to see. Same concept in Illustrator. So I'm going to remake that by using the rectangle tool. And I'm just going to draw the rectangle the size of the artboard because that's the way that I wanted to clip it. Now, if you wanted to clip yours differently, whatever shape that you create, it's all going to clip to that shape. The big key thing here is that the shape needs to be on top of all the other layers. So I moved to make sure that that shape is on top. It's the first thing that you see in the layers panel. Then you're going to use your selection tool, select everything on your screen, go to objects, clipping mask, and then make. And here we are back to where we started.